Hello everyone, it's Mike from the FXPivotPoint.com taking a look at today's or this week's action. It's been a, a few days since I've uh, posted a video. I had a uh, a little one last Thursday, two Thursdays ago. So my uh, lack of sleep and uh, I haven't been in the market as much. Um, I'm not good with out sleep. I don't do very well. Um, all right, <laughs> just just an aside. So if I say some stupid shit during this, you'll uh, I'm sure you'll forgive me. All right, so we've got the pound here, which is this was a, a great selling. Even you, you can see the stop on it. Where's my little thing? There he is. Come up here, guy. Oh, the pound's going down. It's just one of those things right now. It's just treading water. Um, they got lots of issues. You can see it made it up too. So we had this high yesterday, and then it got here, and faked everyone out, made it look like people were going to sell and go into there, and it was headed back down to the pivot point, which but you knew it was anyhow. Um, if you were trading this pair, because it's, the pair is just not, it's just very very weak, and it's right now we're just treading water until we we move down. Um, that's my guess. Uh, who knows what's on the horizon? Uh, fundamentally. But from a technical standpoint, where this is a very weak pair, and I'll show you in a minute. So uh, look how close it got to uh, R1, and look, look where it did. You know, look how, look how it fought. Remember, we talked about pairs staying above the pivot point for most of the day when they begin. So look, we've got you know the beginning of the day for me, which is a New York session. This is how the ND is uh, programmed, and it moves in here, and look, it just fought and fought, and it fell down, and look what it fought back up. It fought and then fought some more. Got down here and still fought. And right, right now we're still fighting to stay above the um, the pivot point for the day. And look at this. Look at yesterday. Look at that. To the pip touch, back down. To the pip support, and up we go. And then it almost made it to R1 on the day yesterday. Uh, that's good stuff, huh? Let's hide that for a second. Let's go over to the the panel. We've talked about this for a while. Well, this has been in my videos for. Uh, the, these longer charts, I get tired of talking about them. I'm sure you get tired of hearing about them. Um, but you can see we we got to move down. We did this a long time ago, and uh, we got up here and we talked about this, and we're in between here and never made it. Never made it to 50. And again, that shows the weakness of the pair, and a full retrace. And then you can see here was the hard stopper. Uh, look at that big piercing thing right to the right to the heart of the market last week on that uh, dumbass trader sell-off he pushed the wrong button and, and the the selling just uh, trickled down and everyone just sold into it and then when they saw that order go through and it brought just about every market down every asset class and now keep in mind when traders most traders right now they'll see this right this will not be conf most people will not um, look at this and say okay this is my new low I can do my fib they will discount this because this was uh, for all uh, intensive purposes um, you know it, it was a uh, malfunction so you can really when you're doing your analysis discount this because it was it wasn't real alright so we have support here how long can we continue to support uh, you know are we going to bounce or are we going to get a little move like this which would make this a what? Alright, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, that's a, a pretty obvious one. And then th this one would go where? Ooh. Yikes. Lower. Either way, my guess is going lower. So I missed that sell last night. That pisses me off, but I was so tired. I was sleeping. Alright, let's hide that. Let's look at the end. He wants to stay around a pivot point too, doesn't he? Today, he's going to move up. We got this little. Don't you just love this? So the market makers create these little trend lines intraday. Um, well, look at this. Look where we stop. Bring back my tool, um, my little drawing tool. And, and look, what? Three pips away, five pips away. Um, right back, bounce, bounce up. Um, and then my system gave a sell. And they went right back down to the pivot point and lower. And then bounced up and 
it's kind of all over the place, this pair. Oh, I'd stay out of this pair for a while. I don't like this. What's the pound doing? Uh, yeah, pounds. I should probably sell that right now. Um, moving up to the pivot point, it made this move on the day. Again, I think we just talked about this. It stayed above, stayed above. Uh, I think we're going down here today. Uh, I don't know. It may. It may want to try to hold it. Uh, I'd like to see it up here. Uh, no! Head up a little more. Nah. It's not going to do it. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Buy it up to at least here where I can sell it. And as I traded the pound yesterday and I sold this. Um, and I uh, took profit at the pivot point, obviously. Uh, actually, maybe I even took profit before that. I think I did. I think I took profit here. I was going to sell this. I don't remember. Um, it doesn't matter. I didn't make that much yesterday. Nor I have I've had a, a decent week, but uh, no, nothing to... Uh, nothing to brag about but we're beating the market um, I'm gonna do a, a video soon on my performance last month although we're having problems with my FX book uh, and the API loading the amount of trades I have into it so it's having it's struggling a little bit there uh, so I can't show you everything uh, as a matter of fact I can't show you anything but I can you know show you but you know I've been showing you my trades and you know that I was up last month hopefully and if not once we, once this issue gets resolved with my FX book I will show you the uh, percentage but uh, I don't know the details I just know that I was up 12.2 or something uh, I'll, in the video I'll show you 12.2 percent last month uh, which if you were following along with uh, what I've been doing that's that's pretty good those are some pretty good months uh, puts me up about uh, I'm not going to speculate. I'll just do the video and let you guys watch it. Alright, um, pivot points and my system. Great together. Woo, what about that? Look how close that comes to the pivot points. Stayed the whole day above it. Look, the whole day below. Look at this. I've been a great sell. And this would have been even a better sell. Alright, because you got the, you're struggling here. We've got it. It comes down. It comes back up to the pivot point. It's just not a very good chance that it's going to move up here with any, with any uh, tenacity. And once you see this, this is a really good uh, a trick or short. Um, let me show you real quick. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Um, trick. I hate to say trick. This is just its not a trick. It's just trading. All right, so we've got this one, two, three. All right, you've got these three bars you know, after, after this little sell down. And it comes up to the pivot point, right? Now, this is what you're looking for. This first bar to complete. See how that, that red bar, that means it hit the pivot point and the the big dogs have said that's where it's going to stop. So that's a pretty good easy sell back down to, that's where you want to take profit. Again, it's more of a scout, more of a day trade, but I'm a day trader and uh, that's how I approach the market. Those are very, very high probability trades right there. Alright folks, I uh, hope you're having a good day and I like I said, I'll do my performance video here uh, hopefully very soon. And talk about those numbers. Uh, I really was kind of hoping that uh, my FX book would resolve its issues, so I could talk about the hit rate and and draw down because I don't I don't know what it was, but it was decent. All right. Either way, hope you're having a good day. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and, uh, and shoot them my way on the, the YouTube channel or um, through wherever else. Um, additionally, I'm off the Forks factory. I uh, had some issues there, and uh, I'm going to move on and uh, I'm probably going to stand up my own forum and I will once I do that I will push it out to everyone here again thanks for watching and have a good day